The city of Memphis is ranked in the top five most dangerous cities in the United States of America. The former chief of police in Durham took the job as being the chief of police in Memphis. And she organized, Celine Davis, she organized a group called um, the Scorpions. This is a, an elite group, or supposed to be, that's designed to conquer the tremendous crime problem that they have in Memphis. It was from, it was from amongst the Scorpions that we witnessed that horrendous beating of a young man who does not have a criminal record who three days later died. I am a supporter of law enforcement 100% when it's done right. When it's done right. What happened to that young man was not done right. There has to be limits. I'm not a member of law enforcement, but I've heard from law enforcement. Um, this is the pastor of the lady who was killed. Husband of murdered Memphis pastor recounts the moments his wife was killed. The husband of a Memphis pastor gunned down in front of the couple's white having home. Said he wanted the two 15-year-olds charged with murder, tried as adults, and I don't blame him. If it was your wife, that they were 15 doesn't make her any less dead. He says, I want them all locked up. I do not want them on the streets, said the husband, Daryl Eason Williams. And his wife was killed by two 15-year-olds who wanted to take her her property. This is the kind of thing that has been taking place in that lovely city. But this Scorpion group, um, that killed Tyree Nichols, went too far. Amen. Um, And what is sad is they've disbanded the group, the Scorpions. That group is no more. But you know what won't disband? The crime. See, the criminals will keep on being criminals. This is why no one despises a bad cop like a good cop does. Because now the whole thing is taken down. And uh, uh, criminals don't care how old you are. Criminals don't care about your gender. Criminals don't care. They just want what they want. And many of them are heartless. And five men. in a display that's despicable, if you can see reason in that a man is down and somebody just gonna walk up to him and just kick him in his face. Uh, that was hard for me to watch. Now the race hustlers are trying to make what happened to Brother Nichols, Tyree Nichols, trying to make it an issue of white supremacy. But I looked, and I looked, and I looked when they gave the pictures of everybody who was involved. I didn't see a white person. Did you see a white person? I didn't see a white man, I didn't see a white woman, I didn't see anybody white. I didn't really see anybody who appeared to be light-skinned. I find it to be disgraceful 
that you could do that to any human being. Any. Any. But then that you could do that to somebody who looked like you. I think that's disgraceful. Somebody said, well, he shouldn't have got up and run. Well, when he was down, they kept beating him. I would have, I would have run. I would still be running. Mm -mm. You, can't, you can't start. See, let me tell you, you lose credibility when you bend yourself in pretzels to side with wrong. You can't do that. And all of a sudden, you know, if, it, if it's a situation where somebody black do something, black folk do this a lot, a situation where somebody black do something out the way and we talk about that, blacks scream, amen, amen. And then when something like this happened and we try to uh, uh, deal with it, then some of you get quiet and you get stingy with your response. Now, I'm not for that. I've told you before, nobody's hands in my pocket. I've told you that. I've, I've told you that. I've said that. And I ain't changing. That was too much. And how you know it was too much? The boy died. He's dead. And uh, one of the brother Bean to Darius, I guess I said his name right, uh, 24 years old, uh, was the president of Omega Sci Fi. Chapter at the university, what, what is at Zeta? Am I saying that right? I'm not in that stuff. I'm sanctified. When they came after me and uh, tried to recruit me, I told them I was already in one. They said, What's the name of yours? There's a church of God in Christ, body of Christ. Amen. I don't, I don't, I've already made a vow. I made one, I made a vow to the Lord. I vowed to him that I would serve him and him only. And I hadn't made a vow to anyone uh, since I made a vow to him but Pam. Amen. And that was a marriage vow. Amen. Amen. And so um, we need to pray. Now the scorpions are disbanded. And the criminals are going to have a field day. But you know, we've been headed this way for a long time. But you know who else should assume some of the blame? The defund the police crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Defund them, get rid of them. Well, if you get rid of them, you won't be able to go to the store. And when you start defunding and, 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 and doing all these things to the police, who's left? See, because a lot of the good officers, the vaccine crowd got rid of them. President Trump had it right. When the vaccines were made, he said they are for those, anyone who wants them. When they move from that to a mandate, demanding that people take the shot or they lose their job, they outsmarted themselves. Because many of your better officers, firemen, soldiers, military, many of your better people said, before I'll do that, I'll just resign. Now we're left with untrained people. Now you know those guys were trained. What kind of training tells you to go pull somebody out the car like that and beat them? Right. Walk up to a man who is down on the ground and kick him in the face. What kind of training is that? WWE? Hmm, no, your better people are gone. But we outsmarted ourselves. We need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray that God would intervene. Amen. Amen. We need to pray for Memphis. We need to pray for Raleigh. We need to pray. Amen. 
The race hustlers are trying to make this about white supremacy and racism. I do, however, think that there's a racial component to it. Just me. I think it's an obvious racial component. I don't think that those same five police officers would have done that to a white woman. I don't think they would have beat a white young man like that if the guy would have shot at him. What's wrong with us? The disrespect that we show for each other is embarrassing. I'm embarrassed by that display. <laughs>